into the hand of my enemies. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Hallelujah. So grace protects you from the lying tongues. Grace make of no effect the poisonous words spoken against you. Grace preserve the vision God has given you. Grace enable you to achieve what God has set before you. I will instruct thee in the way that thou will go. And I will guide thee with my own eyes. That's what God is committed in doing in everyone's life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So our year of advancement is to walk in continual grace. Is to walk in elegance. To walk with God's ability. Without grace, there will be frustration. Without grace, there will be disappointments. Without grace, there will be anger. Paul said, I will run the race that is set before me with courage. What are you saying? On most of these social medias, if you are on one of them, you see there are social media pastors. Social media pastors and prophets. But you have to be able to see beyond it because a lot of good information is going through the airways and a lot of garbages are equally filtering through the highways. We need to guide yourself with grace. The church Am I talking too much? The church, most church, I mean the church of Christ. I'm not talking about great grace ministry, Catholic or something. Like that. I'm talking about the church. Have been so dependent on the Old Testament and they are limiting God's grace upon the church. There was one I saw the, during the course of the week. It says, Moses said, I will not go without you. You've heard that before? It is nice and beautiful. That was Moses that said that. Moses had an assignment to take, to take the children of Israel from Egypt to the promised land. But we are not taking anybody from Egypt to the promised land. 
the new born again Christian is not in the wilderness crossing to a destination maybe in Christ or in heaven that prayer is so nice but it's not beneficiary to the new born again Christian Because God is not outside of you anymore. God is inside of you. The Bible says, if you come to Christ, you have one, you are born of the same spirit. We are baptized into the same spirit. So God is no longer outside of us. He lives inside of you. The Bible says, he is with you because he is in you. Maybe I said it too fast. God is not outside of you. God is with you because he is in you. He's inside of you. And if he's inside of you, why will you be praying God, I will not go if you don't come with me. Where is it going to come from? Hallelujah. And another one said, David prayed and said so, so, and so, and so. Somewhere prayed and said so so and so. Malachi prayed and said so so and so. Jeremiah prayed and said so so and so. And so I am telling you, share this thing if you believe what these people say. Share it to 10 people, including me. Garbage. Are you following me? Share it to 10 people, including me, if you believe what these people say. The Bible is not saying you should say what those people say. What are you saying? What are you saying? I was about to write, said Pastor Clement said, grace is working in me. I didn't want to be rude. Are you following me? There is so much going on. Prophets and teachers springing up on WhatsApp and Facebook. Social media pastors and prophets. But if you are not rooted and grounded, you will drift. With this teaching and with your precious money, reading these things that don't add any value. Hallelujah. God said, I will guide you, I will lead you, and I will direct your paths, I will protect you from lying lips that's why i'm talking about these social medias there are lying lips clotted with christian with christian lingos with christian talks with biblic with biblical quotes hallelujah there are messages going on passed from one person to another person maybe it's chain prayer or chain preaching I don't know how to classify it but the Bible says keep your heart with all 
diligence. Because out of it flows the issues of life. And the Bible is clear and it said that Satan don't come to steal garbage. Satan only come to steal the word of God that is deposited in you. But when the counterfeit now come and adulterate the one that is already there, if you are preserving the word that you have, no. Hallelujah. Let's read Psalm, 20, Psalm 32 again, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide and counsel you with my eyes. 31 verse 18. We are recapping. Let their lying lips be Silence. It didn't say forward it to 20 people. Silence it. If you see something that is not truth, it looks like truth, but it's not the truth. Delete it. Don't forward it. Yeah. You know the truth, so don't forward don't forward it. You said we can it's only the people that can reach for now that we can reach right now. We don't have to circulate garbage. Protect your mind and protect the word of God that you have received. The Bible says. Many will come in the last days in my name. And in the book of 1 John, he said they are already here. The Antichrist is already here. Don't help Satan to push their agenda. Hallelujah. So, Grace is working in us. So you have to correct with grace. And you should not be offended <laughs> with grace. <laughs> Don't get offended with grace. Some people will hear these things and they will get offended, which is okay. Because your doctrine that is not challenged with the word of God, that does not comply with the word of God, is a wrong doctrine. It will not produce results. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We'll read the last scripture of the day first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 1. Let me now remind you, dear brothers and sisters, for the good news I preached to you before, 
you welcome it then and you still stand firm in it the good news which i preached to you before don't forget it you welcome it then you still have to stay with it you welcome it then and you still stand firm in it king james says it like this moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel which i preach unto you which also ye had received wherein ye stand he said when you receive the gospel don't change your position stand firm on the truth you have received stand firm on the truth you have received in 2017 where we were teaching on faith truth faith and patience truth faith and patience we said then if it is not what god said if it's not what jesus said and it is not what the apostle said by the spirit is not the truth everything that is in the bible is not the truth because everything that is in the bible was not said by god in genesis chapter 1 of verse, chapter 1 and chapter 2 chapter 3 satan spoke or the snake spoke to eve if you go about quoting what was said to eve it's not the truth is a lie when you start quoting what the sorcery spirit said to king saul you are not standing on the truth but it's in the bible hallelujah glory be to god the word of god said or oh, jesus christ quoted it like this man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceed from the mouth of god it was not a suggestion he said the only word you need to live by is the word that proceed from the mouth of god he should have said every mouth every word that is written in the torah or in the bible he didn't say so 